Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Hollywood, California. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. side gonna be interesting to see how long you can keep it up this I mean Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC this guy resembles him in a number of ways let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the outside nice one two there well we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch big ball punch land now he gets back to range well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right on the button. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. 
And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent in positions where he can get off the strikes. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch there. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. And a knee. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connect. Oh, nice land. It won't take many of those. Oh, collar ties. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh! Oh, blocks the shot. Joy gets hit with a kick. Now connects with a right. Real sneaky body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Oh, big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, single collar tie now. Choi's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Lunges forward. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, straight right. You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he defends another takedown there. So it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him there. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turn that double into a single. Strong and got away from his opponent. Great job. Battle for position here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he oh, comes nice through with a big knee. Oh, straight right. He gets hit with an outside leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Boy, Thai plump. Switch knee lands to the body. Triple head for cut forward there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. All right, here we go with our next Ready? round. This guy has Ready? proven to be a very difficult man to take down. If you were in there trying to get him to the canvas, what are you trying to do? I mean, you got to just slow it down because he doesn't even allow you to get started. Right? He, if you try to take a shot, he just crawls so effectively that you're done before you even get going. So slow it down, try to push him against the fence, but he's showing a knowledge 
of takedown defense that I'm not sure that's going to be right. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this one goes up. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the trick? Side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Choi's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he eats a knee. Nice body. Oh, nice straight punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And we got a fight out on him. He has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Once over the top. Switching stances here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big body kick. Oh! Oh! Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hit. What a round.
right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready? Third round underway. Beautiful one. in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice leg kick land. No! Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. On He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh. <laughs> Single collar tie now. Oh, big knee! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, he got him! He got him! Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. With two minutes and change to go in round three. I need you to scramble, scramble. All right, half guard now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What is he going to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the oh, he's out. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Oh! All right, so there he 
is the man of the moment celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.